The Estria Foundation's latest project, Mele Murals, was recently completed in the small town of Waimea on the island of Hawaii. Mele Murals is a series of murals that we're intending to do across all the islands. The larger goal is to build and sustain a public art movement. So each place that we go paint a mural, we're partnering with youth from that area, high school age. The first school to participate was Kanuaka Aina New Century Public Charter School, where the students were involved in a week worth of intensive workshops. You're officially the first mural, so we're very excited to try to do this with you. I want you to understand that this is your community, this is your town, this is your island. We can share with you how we paint, how we ground and connect and ask for guidance. Um, and we hope to just share with you those things so that you can then tell your stories, that you're the storytellers for your people. The students were challenged in many ways, first being tasked with selecting the mele or songs and chants that were to be depicted for the mural, as well as conceptualizing the imagery. One of the chosen songs was Na Pu'u Kau Lana O Waimea, written by Waimea native Emma Lani Case. So yeah, it's a simple mele, but it's about being attached to this place and about knowing your place. It actually is the first mele I ever wrote. It's a really simple song. It's meant for keiki, it's meant for kids. I tried to make it joyful and fun, something that would stick in their minds so that they would remember these names. For me, I play with words, I play with language, and I try to take what I see in the external world and put them into words, and then to see them then retranslated into images is amazing. The next step was finding a space for the mural to exist, and local art house Kahilu Theater stepped up immediately. It was really important for Kahilu Theater to be in this project or to be part of this project. We are the performing arts center for all of North Hawaii, and we have wonderful theater and education programs, um, but we have been presenting the same face, you know, the same green old wall for a long time. <laughs> Once songs were selected, walls were approved, and a proper blessing given, the paint party was underway, with children of all ages and from different schools getting involved. At least this side, you guys got more space to play with. John Hina, or more famously known as Prime, the founder of 808 Urban, was brought on in collaboration, as his talents as an artist and as a youth mentor were vital to the success of this first mural. Oh! <laughs> okay, you try. My intention for this was to surrender all my own personal thoughts and the way I would usually envision the mural happening and kind of like keep my mind open so that, that way their knowledge and their vision can come into me through me and then through my hands. We divided this wall into eight different sections or um, the makavalu, the eight, the eight eyes, eight ways of looking at things. After three long days and late nights of painting a surface area of about 1,635 square feet, it was time for the mural to be showcased at an unveiling event, which again, the students were put in charge of organizing. Well, I feel like it's important for our community to have an event like this because we're not so used to it. It's not only us unveiling a mural or sharing mo'olelo, but it's also bringing us as a community together and I think that's a pono way to do it, is through our mural. It's so much more than any of us thought it would be. It's really wonderful. We all knew it was going to be good. We all knew it had good heart. It was coming from the right place. But we didn't know it would be this good. We didn't know it would be this good. We didn't know how many students were going to engage with the process, um, how much a part of their mana'o it, it, it sprang from. 
and um, we're just delighted with the outcome and it looks beautiful.